What if you could trick your mind into thinking that you were in another world? You could see something, but not be able to touch it. VR is the future of education. VR is already being used in some schools. Virtual reality is a simulation of a false reality achieved through screens, magnifying glasses, and lenses. Despite its recent development, virtual reality is not new technology. The first VR machine called the Sensorama was created in 1950. Morton Helig created the first head-mounted headset called the Telesphere Mask in 1960. In 1961, two engineers from the Philco Corporation developed the first motion tracking headset a long time ago, virtual reality came out and it just failed because the technology wasn't there yet. It didn't have enough computer power or it didn't have the graphics capability, graphic card capability. Um, these days we have the Oculus uh, Gear VR. It uses a phone, so it uses the processing power of the phone. It's still a little blurry. It's still, it's fun. It's worth using. Um, I also have the HTC Vive, which uses the computer power of the computer, an actual computer, that has a high-end video card and is fantastic, but it's also cost a lot more money. Virtual reality headsets have been put in many schools across the United States and worldwide. Programs have been developed called Virtual Classroom, which allow one teacher to teach thousands of students from across the world. So you can have one teacher with thousands of students at the same time. We have Virtual Classroom now, but it wouldn't be as such an immersed feeling. You can actually walk into a classroom and feel like you're there, that's in a completely different place. Other programs called virtual field trips have been created so students can sit in a classroom and they can be immersed in a brand new place they've always wanted to go. Students can also attend virtual field trips so they can visit just about any place in the world that the content is available for and go through things like museums or visit ruins in different countries or just see lands that they would not otherwise have been able to see. Although there are positive sides to virtual reality in the classroom, some people think it's a bad idea. You can have epileptic seizures, seizures in general. Um, people have been known to have motion sickness, uh, feel dizzy afterwards. If it was brought into a school district, you have different, lots of different students that would be using it, so you'd have to be worried about any of those issues. Virtual reality is a constantly growing industry. It is projected that by the year 2025, over 500 million headsets will have been sold in the United States alone. With new developments of technology, there is a growing demand for virtual reality. For example, HTC is creating a device called the Vive Tracker for their new HTC Vive headset, which allows you to scan real-world objects into programs. Microsoft is developing the HoloLens, which brings virtual reality into a real world, which is referred to as augmented reality. Virtual reality is something that will never go away. With new developments and growing popularity, more and more people want to have access to it. Everyone from teachers in schools to children at home will be soon experiencing virtual reality.